What is up YouTube? We're back um, showing you a full day of training, running and workout. I'll be on a train back later on with my mate Reese. but first we've got to hit this run. I did have the race on Sunday, so I've just been doing easy runs all week. Today, I think I'm gonna do 12 kilometers, should be about an hour of running. Um, low heart rate, just, um, yeah, just taking it easy. I trained legs on Wednesday, so, they are really sore. It's um, it's Friday today, so usually you get DOMS probably worse like two days later. So that's all good. We're gonna um, yeah, we're gonna get this run in. Looks like we should be able to catch the sunrise. It's um, the sun's coming up a lot later now that it's winter. I think it's 16 degrees at the moment today, which is great. But it has been freezing. It's been like down to nine degrees, um, which I much prefer this kind of weather to run in. Um, yeah kind of around that 15, 16. So yeah, we're gonna get this run done and then I'll show you other parts of the day as well. I'm gonna get my hair cut if you guys give a shit about that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's get this run going. is the run done for the morning. I'll um, show you some of the stats. Just an easy run, so nothing really to go through, but average heart rate was 144, not too bad. Probably better than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, moving time, like an hour, so spot on. Average pace, five minutes, so pretty much ideal for me personally. Obviously, everyone else is different with their pace for easy, but for me, I usually try to stick around that five minute pace, and yeah, heart rate, I just try to keep under 150. So that's pretty much it. Gonna go home, have some breakfast, and then we're gonna get, hit a back session later on with Reese. so let's do it. So a little update on the Jeep since I got it. I um, changed over all these lights to LED, took the badge off, put those little grill things in, um, changed these other indicator lights over here. So that's pretty much it for the front end at the moment. I probably won't do much else. I don't wanna make it look like a proper crazy full drive. I just wanted to make it look clean and kind of change a few things. I want to make the wheels black, gloss black. I was going to get new ones, but I actually don't mind those. I think if they're just sprayed gloss black, that should be good. Um, that's pretty much it for the front. Yeah, not going to do too much to it. Um, change these lights over to LEDs as well. Um, kind of wish I could change those out, but I haven't been able to find any. Put a little reversing camera up there it's pretty much the only spot you can put it on a jeep and yeah that's pretty much it just a few small mods at the moment but i think it will look really nice when the wheels are blacked out okay so one last thing i did put this in as well so it's a nice big touch screen up here it's got apple carplay and stuff and yeah this thing wasn't too bad to put in but putting that reversing camera in and wiring all that was just a nightmare but it's done now and yeah this thing's pretty pretty cool so you can do YouTube everything on it so that's sick <music> So breakfast today is ready. We got a smoothie. Um, I usually have that, like you guys probably seen from other videos, I usually cook my oats, and then I put the peanut butter and the banana on top and stuff, but instead I've pretty much just blended it all together because I'm in a bit of a rush. I've got a Zoom call with 
someone from BPN in a minute. But um, yeah, strong green, strong greens, and strong greens, strong reds, and electrolytes in that shaker. So a heap of water. You need to make sure if you're going for long runs for like an hour or so, you need to make sure you're having a heap of water straight away. And I'd recommend having something like electrolytes as well because you got you're obviously losing all those um, all that those electrolytes when you sweat and you need to get them back into your body. Um, so yeah, BPN electrolytes are the go, taste amazing. So I'm gonna have this, have this Zoom call and then yeah, we'll get stuck into the day. Fresh haircut, probably the only thing that's gone right today. Unfortunately, I left my small little running camera that I use for my, all my running clips. I left it on my bonnet because I could see from one of these previous clips on this camera that it was on the bonnet and I must not have grabbed it before I jumped in the car and took off. And so I got home, a few hours had gone past and then I was gonna put some of the clips on my computer and couldn't find it. So drove down to, um, to the spit where I was this morning, just before on this video and Nowhere to be seen, so I think it is long gone. I've already ordered a new one. Hopefully the other one pops up somehow, I don't know. Um, if you're watching this video and you found it, <laughs> send it back, please. But yeah, that's about it. Um, those things happen, no point getting too down about it. We're gonna go train now, um, me and Reese. so we're gonna hit some back and buys. Really, I think I'm gonna do a voiceover for the workout so I can kind of run you guys through how I perform some of these exercises and how I really felt like um, I matured with my back training from when I first started because I feel like it's one of the um, one of those muscle groups that people just get wrong because they don't know how to train it properly and they just don't build mass because their arms take over and all that stuff. So. We're gonna go train. I'll see you guys there. Hope you guys, hope you guys enjoy it. All right, guys. So I thought I'd do a little voiceover for this workout. Something a little bit different. Um, started off just with pull-ups. Um, I've been liking just doing these neutral grip rather than like wide grip. Um, whenever I do pull-ups, I kind of feel that it's hitting more my lower lats. I, even with the wider grip, I don't feel like it's hitting like my outer lats. So um, I prefer to just do a neutral grip at the moment. Just um, gets me a better squeeze and control through my lower lats. Um, then I was supersetting that with the straight arm pull downs or pullovers. Um, with those, I'm pretty much, um, as you can see, my kind of upper body is hunched over like a tiny bit or it's at least like flat. That's more so... I'm trying to focus on those outer, outer lats a lot on those pullovers or those straight arm pull downs. Um, I used to kind of, yeah, I used to arch my back and really put my chest up and out and um, that seemed to focus a lot on building my lower lats but now I'm more focused on, yeah, trying to grow some width to my body. So after that, so the pull ups and the, and the pull pullovers, we hit about four sets of that and then we jump straight into some T-bar rows. Um, Back was already warmed up, obviously, so didn't have to do any kind of lighter sets. This isn't this isn't too heavy, but main focus on the T-bar rows is just kind of getting in a comfortable position um, with your legs, and then once you're locked in and kind of in that position, just keeping those legs um, in the same position. You don't want to be flexing like your quads and knees and all that stuff. As you can see here, my body and everything is pretty much staying dead still and it's just my arms um driving upwards and keeping keeping those elbows close to my body i um this was probably a little bit too heavy this set i just felt like i wasn't getting as much of a contraction because with all my back training i really just aim to get i aim i go heavy but not too heavy over the top because i love getting a good um good contraction through through the muscles because I feel like that's where people really let themselves um, down with back training. They don't focus on that mind-muscle connection where they're really dialing in on feeling the muscle tear on like every single rep or just feeling it really contract. So as you can see with a lot of those sets, um, I really kind of, you think might think I'm at failure, but I always try to get like a few extra kind of reps out. Now this is one of the best exercises I've found to 
hit, hit your outer lats. I don't feel like any of those kind of pull down movements hit my outer lats much. And you'll find a lot of people will focus on these single arm kind of rows to really burn out the lats. And you can see you're just getting a full, um, full stretch of a lat on the way out and then just contracting it a lot. Um, with these obviously like go on single arm rather than your your close grip double arm it's just it's just hitting a it's just hitting your back way better than kind of yeah I'd, you will see a lot of people um doing these like straight arm pulls um straight arm rows sorry not straight arm rows a single arm their yeah, cable row just because i think at the moment it's got a little hot a lot of hype around it just being a pretty much the best um movement for growing Grow on your lats and at the moment um yeah i'm just tr trying to really grow some width i feel like i've got good lower back development um, which i've focused on a lot over the years and i've only probably in the last few years really focused on growing some width and yeah, really utilizing um those single arm cable rolls so jumped into this machine um after that all of these all of these exercises we're doing about three to four sets i don't really count reps too much but we'll probably aim I usually aim between like eight, eight to twelve, um, especially on like back. So jumped into this next, which wasn't too bad, but it wasn't the greatest machine ever. I felt like you couldn't get like a full, full stretch. Finished off with um, some biceps. So just did the, just did some seated um, dumbbell curls. As you can see there, like my elbows are pretty much fixed in that position. Pinkies turned like outwards. You'll you'll find that. Yeah, having those dumbbells pointed outwards rather than towards you will get like a way better contraction up the top. Um, these are only 12.5 kilos, not heavy at all. Um, but that's where like there's no competition when you're trying to when you're trying to lift like for biceps. Just drop the weight, focus on form. You'll get a way better pump. You'll get a way better contraction. And yeah, that's what you want when you're training arms. You just want mass contraction um, and obviously lowering that weight all the way down we moved on to some hammer curls after that these we're just doing um yeah rep after rep each side not going together so pumped out pretty much like eight to ten on each arm i don't really count reps at all to be honest um i pretty much just go until i'm burnt out and i feel like i train pretty hard so that usually does the trick. We finished off with the easy bar curl, same thing, keeping the elbows fixed in that same position. Um, and yeah, trying to go on reasonable weight with this. I do like, like you'll notice I start to swing a bit. Um, I feel like if you're doing the easy bar curls, try to get a, some good solid reps out and then you can pretty much finish with, um, yeah, finish with that. And here we go, a little, um, Little pose down afterwards. I like the lighting at um, this. This is a good life bundle. Um, if you guys seen like some other videos and stuff, but yeah, there's the back there. Fairly pumped. Like I said, I feel like I've got like good like kind of lower lat development, but I'm just really trying to grow that width and stuff now. So work in progress, but we're getting there. Um, obviously, running as well is the main focus at the moment, but. I still feel like, um, yeah, we can put the effort in with you. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for that. Just got home. We've got a nice meal here. Just a standard chicken, pasta, veg. You guys know I don't mix it up much. But thank you guys for watching. A bit more um, training-related stuff. Um, like always, appreciate the love lately on the YouTube. Um, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Like, comment means the world to me. And yeah, like always, I'll see you on the next video. Catch ya.